So now let's go ahead and go and make some other changes to the browse. Where is it? To the browse in the store controller also. So it can show us some other information. So let's go here and change it to action result. And also let's just delay that and make it bar category model equals new category yep to be name equals category yeah it's actually it's a small one here or yeah let's return here the view and category now yeah seems all right let's just put this here yeah let's build this now let's add the view right click on browse and click add view and choose this to be empty and middle class to be category yeah add let's go here and change this to yeah let's like browsing category to be a model beautiful model dot name yep seems right let's go ahead and build this so let's go ahead and run it and go here and browse to um, let's go here put this category equals electronics we're going to change this to make it more easy, but just till now we're just gonna hand type it. Yes, yeah, so as you can see here, it shows us electronics. If we put here like um, something else, like maybe uh, furniture, shows us furniture. So let's also change the uh, index method in store controller here. Yeah, this. So in the index method, we are going to put uh, display a list of categories in our store. We'll do that by using a list of categories as our model object rather than just a single category. So let's go here and type in var uh, category and put it to be new list of category yeah so now let's put our list here yeah this is fine now new category and here to make it the name to be equal to electronics Yeah, and let's just copy that. Here, yeah. Let's make it here like furniture. Here, accessories, for example. Accessories. I don't know how it's spelled, but I think that's right. I don't know. So tell me if, if you know the right uh, spelling for that. And also here for view, let's put category. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and build this. Yeah, seems fine. Now let's add the uh, view for the index.
let's put here empty one and the model class to be category let's add it now in here let's change this to make it IE numerable so what is that gonna do is it's going to know that we are going to have more than one category listed not just one more than one so IE numerable and let's just put it as a list here yeah all right seems fine now let's go here and change this to store and here to make it browse category And let's put here the categories. So let's get this here. Yeah. Let's select from from model dot count count. Yeah, count. Let's put it here. Now let's go ahead and run this. Yeah, and now we're gonna write it, run it, and go here to index here. Yeah. So as you can see here, it showed us the uh, end the browse page that for the categories that we used. So here, electronic electronics, furniture, and accessories. Now we want to make those as links to browse to here. Like if we clicked in electronics, it goes to the electronics. Uh, category and shows the items in there. So how are we going to do that? Is going to add links between pages. So let's go here. So let's go ahead and delay this here to make it HTML dot add action link. And whoop, let's make here category and name. And let's specify the uh, controller action name, which is browse. Let's just put that here. And now we're going to specify the category and name value. So let's put here new, oh, new category and equals category dot name yeah let's just put this here yeah all right so that's about it actually yeah I think so yeah that's that's yeah let's build this and go ahead and run it let's see how this work out so as you can see now it showed us each of those categories as links and if we clicked one of those links it goes to the browse page actually yeah here it's like here it was like just plain text here there are links so you guys can see what's the difference here furniture we go to the furniture and so on so that's it for this uh, section and in the other section we are going to talk a little bit more about the model and the data access um hope you guys enjoyed and learned and see you in the next section